Hi, and thanks for joining our CCA tutorial on paging today. The paging feature allows each IP phone, which has been configured with a paging number, to automatically answer using its speakerphone mode. So as you can see, I'm working with three IP phones, the 7970 and two SPA 525Gs, along with my UC540. Go ahead and go to the left-hand panel and select Configure, Telephony, Phone Groups, and there you'll find Paging Groups. There are a few things along the top here that we want to talk about. The first thing is enabling a paging group using the checkbox. Let's go ahead and do that. Now you want to go ahead under the description area and go ahead and label it. This first one I'm going to label as sales. And under members, once you select it, you'll see that you can add your members down here under phones. So go ahead and an add Angela Martin. Go ahead and enable another one. This will be services. Add Michael Scott. I'm going to add to Cashier, add Pam Beasley, I'm going to add a few more just for example purposes. Parts. All right, and now you've configured your paging feature on your IP phones. So as you can see, if I were to dial 101, sales would technically be alerted, and our member, Angela Martin, would be paged, meaning that her phone would automatically go to speaker mode. Another great feature here under paging are combined paging groups. So by creating combined paging groups, you provide phone users with the flexibility to page a small local paging group or to page a combined set of several paging groups. You're going to go ahead and go to your first user. On here you can see that you also have the groups tab. You can add several different groups here. Three, four, I'm going to add all of them under sales. I'm also going to come over here by cashier and I'm going to add my parts. Now this can get a little hairy in terms of knowing what you just configured. So you can go ahead and go under show group dependency where you'll have a nice view of what you just did. So as you can see, the numbers in the graph correspond to the paging group numbers in the paging group window. And notice that the arrow always points to the member group. So an arrow points from group 1 to group 2 because group 2 is part of group 1. So for example, if I were to page group 1, groups 2, 4, and 3 would also be paged. And for example, if I were to page group 3, group 5 would likewise be paged at the same time. So this is a nice way to really see what you're configuring. Go ahead and select Apply and Apply. And this concludes our paging tutorial. Thank you for joining us today. We really hope you found this tutorial useful.